Hi, this is Dr. Ben Finio with Science Buddies, and in this video, I'll show you how to design and 3D print your own snowflake ornament using Tinkercad. To start, you may want to search online to look for pictures of real snowflakes for inspiration. You'll notice that many snowflakes have six arms or branches. These come from the hexagonal geometry of the underlying ice crystal lattice that forms the snowflake. You will also need to figure out what material you will be using to print your snowflake. If you have your own printer at home, you may want to consult the manual, and if you're ordering from an online 3D printing service, you should check their website for limitations on things like wall thickness and size of the part. If you try to make parts of your snowflake too thin, they might come out too fragile and not print at all or break easily. Now, once you have a snowflake design in mind and know the limitations you're working with, you can go ahead and start a new design in Tinkercad, and now I'll walk you through the process to make those six radially symmetric arms of the snowflake. You can start out with a single shape, like a box or a cylinder. I'm going to use a rectangle as an example, but you can modify to make your design whatever you want. So I'm going to start out by setting the dimensions of this rectangle to be four millimeters high, and I want this to be kind of long and skinny, so it corresponds to the size of one branch of the snowflake. So I'm gonna make that 40 millimeters long and make it a little narrower here, so it's only four millimeters wide as well. Now, I'm going to stop here briefly to change the color. So even if you change the color in Tinkercad, you can always select a different color later when you are actually 3D printing your snowflake. But since I want to feel like I'm designing a snowflake, I am going to go ahead and make that white for now. But again, just because you set one color in Tinkercad, that does not correspond to the color you get when you print. You will determine that when you either order from an online 3D printing service or set up the plastic with your own printer. Now, this is the part where you can start getting creative with your snowflake design. I find that it is helpful to switch to the flat or orthographic view instead of the perspective view and click on the top, which gives you a nice top-down view of your snowflake. So what I'm going to do, and again, you don't have to do exactly this. You can make your snowflake look however you want. I am going to duplicate this arm and then shrink it a bit and rotate this piece to stick it on to the side of the snowflake. So you can either type in an angle or just use the cursors to drag this manually to a certain angle. And I'm gonna move this so it overlaps a bit with my existing branch there. And I'm gonna want this to be symmetric on the arm, so I am going to duplicate this piece and then use the mirror function to flip it around. I'm going to hold down shift so I only move it in one direction and I'm going to slide that over here so you can see now I have created one simple arm or branch of my snowflake. I have three different parts there that I need to group together so I'm going to click and drag to select all of those and then use the group button to combine them into a single solid part. So now we have a single arm of our snowflake, and we don't want to have to draw this five more times to get six separate arms. Remember that our snowflake is radially symmetric, so ideally we would just like to make copies of this in a circular pattern. Now, the way you do that in Tinkercad is a little tricky. So first, I'm going to select my grouped part here. I'm going to duplicate that, and then I am going to mirror it. So I have one copy that is 180 degrees rotated from my original copy, but you see that they are overlapping each other, so I need to, again, I'm gonna hold down shift so I can only move it in the X or Y direction, slide it up here so those two parts are now aligned end to end. I am now going to click and drag to select and group those together. So now I have a single branch going straight across, sorry, two branches going straight across my snowflake. I'm going to select this, duplicate it, and rotate it 60 degrees to get me that hexagonal six-fold symmetry. So I'm going to duplicate, click the arrow to rotate, and instead of dragging now, I'm gonna type in 60 degrees here. There we go, and that's going to create a copy rotated 60 degrees from the original. I can then select the duplicate button again, and it will automatically create another copy rotated 60 degrees. So you can see I now have three separate objects here, Again, I'm going to click and drag to select all of those, group them together, and then that gives you a single solid object for your snowflake that you can 3D print. One more thing you might want to do here, if you do want to make your snowflake an ornament, then you can hang. You can add a loop so you have something to insert a hook and give you something to hang on. So you can drag out the loop, set the size you want, 
I'm gonna make mine the same height as the snowflake, but make it a little smaller, so only 10 millimeters wide. And then again, it might help to go to that top orthographic view. And in this case, I'm gonna to switch to orthographic again. And instead of placing that circle manually, I'm going to use the align tool to make sure it is centered on my snowflake. So I can select both and then click the align tool. And that gives you options to make sure they are centered on each other. Again, I'm going to change the color, which isn't going to affect the 3D print. You can order whatever you want for 3D printing, but I just want this to look nice in Tinkercad. Group those together. And now I have a single object that I could print, including a loop for hanging it if I wanted it to use as an ornament. When you are all done and ready for 3D printing, you can go up to the top right and click on the export button. That will give you an option to export for several different file types. So you'll need to make sure you know which file type your 3D printer or 3D printing service is compatible with. You can also click on the 3D print button here and that will give you an option to send directly to some online 3D printing services as opposed to downloading the file and uploading it yourself. Once you're done with your design, you can order the print or start the print job yourself, and then you will have your own beautiful snowflake. For more 3D printing and design projects, along with thousands of other fun, hands-on science and engineering projects, visit us online at www.sciencebuddies.org.